Hello, this video will walk you through the tutorial for project of the New Perspectives Microsoft Access 2010 textbook. This video is provided as a supplement to the assigned reading for Mount St. Sino College's CAP 123 using Microsoft Access course facilitated by Anna Sterling. It is important to note that not every section of the tutorial is included in this video. It is important that you read all sections of the tutorial from the textbook to ensure you fully understand how to complete all of the tasks for this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. To begin this project, ensure that you have the Belmont database you completed in Tutorial 3 open. From the Create tab, click on Form Wizard from the Form section. Choose Customer from the Tables Queries drop-down menu. Click on the double arrow button to move all of the available fields to the selected fields box. Next, remove the phone field by selecting it from the list and then clicking on the single arrow to move it from the selected fields box back to the available fields box. Repeat this process for the email field. Once both fields display in the Available Fields box, click Next to continue the form wizard. In the Layout options, leave Columnar selected and choose Next. Add data to the right of Customer to ensure Customer Data is the title of the form and click Finish to display the form. Applying a theme to a form. From the Views group on the Home tab, click on View and choose Layout View. From the newly opened Design tab, click on Themes from the Themes group to display the theme gallery. Scroll to the bottom of the theme gallery and find the perspective thing, but don't click on it. The perspective theme is on the third row from the bottom, second icon from the right. Once you locate the theme, right-click on the icon to display the shortcut menu. Choose Apply Theme to This Object Only. Adding a picture to a form. From the header footer group on the design tab, choose Logo. Navigate to where you have the data files for this tutorial saved, select the landscape image, and click OK to insert it. Right-click on the image, point to Layout, and choose Remove Layout. Place your cursor over the image so the four arrow cursor appears. Click and drag the image to the right of the form title. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to fine tune the image placement. You can resize the image by pointing to the bottom right corner until a two arrow cursor appears. Then click and drag from the corner to the size you want. Changing the color of the form title. Select Customer Data, then click between the R and D to position the insertion point. Add a space to the title so it is two words. Select both words. Go to the Format tab and click on the small triangle next to the Font Color option to display the Font Color Gallery. From the Color Gallery, choose Brown, Accent 3, darker 25%. Fourth from the right, second from the bottom in the theme color section. Change the type of lines on a form. Click on the field containing 11001. From the format tab, click on shape outline from the control formatting group to open the outline gallery. From the gallery, point to line type to see a submenu of line options. Choose dots, the fourth option from the list. 
To change the remaining field boxes to match, select the company box, then press and hold the control key while you select the remaining boxes. Return to the Shape Outline Gallery and choose Dots from the Line Type option. Click on Form View from the status bar to see what the formatting looks like. Save your formatting changes before closing the form. Find a record using a form. In this section, we are looking for the Three Tulips Cafe record. We are going to use the customer data form to locate the record. Begin by opening the customer data form. Because we are looking for a company title, click in the company field box. From the home tab, click on find in the find group. In the find what box, type tulips. Click on the arrow next to Match and choose any part of field. Click Find Next to locate the record. Close the Find and Replace dialog box to view the record. Find a record using the asterisk wildcard character. Click on Find to reopen the Find and Replace dialog box. Click in the phone field to make it the active search field. Double click tulips in the find what box and type 517 star. Click the arrow next to match and select whole field. Click find next. Because we entered the asterisk wildcard, Access will move through all records that contain 517 in the phone number as we press Find Next. The first record displayed is number 36 because it is the next record that meets the search criteria. If we continue to press Find Next, we will cycle through the records that include 517. Record 8, Record 12, Record 25, and Record 33. If we press Find Next again, we receive an error message that says Access finished searching the records. Click OK to close the error message and then close the Find and Replace dialog box. Changing a record using a form. With the customer data form still open, click the Current Record box at the bottom of the form. Type 22 and press Enter. When Record 22 displays, edit the first name field to read Dan instead of Lisa and the last name field to read Lewis. Press Tab to edit the email address to read dlewis4 at csc77.com. Change the last three digits of the phone number from 771 to 890 and press Enter to save the change. Adding a new record using a form. From the Records group on the Home tab, click the New button. Record 41 displays with empty field boxes. Enter the following value. Customer ID 11090. Company Lily's Boutique. First name Lily. Last name Shaw. Address 751. East Maple Street. City, Grand Rapids. State, MI. Zip, 49417. 
Email lily1 at lilliesboutique751.com and phone 616-842-5361. Press enter to save the record. To begin, click the Create tab on the ribbon, and then click on Form Wizard from the Forms group. When the Form Wizard opens, choose Table Customer from the Tables Queries drop-down menu. Data from this table will comprise the main form. Click Customer ID and move it to the selected fields box. Add the Company, First, Last, Phone, and Email fields as well. Go back to the Tables Queries drop-down menu and choose Table Contract. Data from this form will appear in the subform. Add all of the fields to the selected fields box. Then move contract.customerid back to the available fields box. This field exists in the main form, so it is not necessary to include it in the subform too. Click Next. The screen that displays next shows you how the data will be displayed. Notice that form with subform is selected. Click Next. Ensure that datasheet is selected and click Next. Enter Customer Contracts as the title for the main form and Contract Subform for the subform. Click Finish. You now see your completed form with subform. You can edit the appearance of the form in Layout View. To begin, click on the Create tab. In the Reports group, choose Report Wizard. Choose Table Customer from the Tables Queries drop-down menu. Add Customer ID from the Available Field box to the Selected Fields box. Add the Company, First, Last, City, and Phone fields as well. Return to the Tables Queries drop-down menu and select Table Contract. Add all of the available fields to the Selected Fields box and then move contract.customerid back to the available fields box. This field has already been added from the customer table, so it is not necessary to add it again. Click Next. Leave By Customer selected and click Next. The grouping levels selected are sufficient, so just click Next. Now we will choose the sort order for the records. In the first box, choose Signing Date from the drop-down menu, and then click Next. There are three layout options to choose from. For this report, we want the Outline layout. After choosing Outline from the options, click Landscape from the Orientation options. Click Next. Append the report title to Customers and Contracts, then click Finished. To view the entire page, click the mouse button. Applying a theme to a report. You can apply a theme to a report just as you can to a form. With the Customers and Contracts report open, click on Layout View. Click on Themes from the Theme group. At the top of the gallery, you will notice a section titled, In This Database. One of the themes is the perspective theme we used for the form. Right-click on the theme icon and choose Apply Theme to this object only. When we apply the theme, the entire title no longer displays. To adjust the title, click on it. 
Move the cursor to the right edge of the field until the two arrow cursor appears. Click and drag the field edge until the entire title displays. Adjust the title so it is three words by adding spaces. Resizing a field on a report in layout view. Just as the title was cut off, so are some of the company names. Scroll until you reach customer ID 11045. Click the city label field. Press and hold control while selecting the phone label field. Now you can resize both fields at the same time. Adjust the size of the fields to allow room for the company names. After adjusting the city and phone labels, adjust the company name field so the entire name is displayed. Adjust the contract number label field as well. Changing the title font color and inserting a picture in a report. These steps will be similar to the steps for formatting the title and inserting a picture demonstrated in the form section of this tutorial. Scroll to the top of the report and click the title. Click the Format tab and choose the Font Color button to display the color gallery. Choose Brown, Accent 3, Darker 25%. Now that the title is formatted, let's add the image. Click on the Design tab. From the header footer group, click Logo. Navigate to where you have your data file saved and insert the landscape image. Move the image to the right of the title. Move and resize the image as you see fit. If you close the Customer and Contracts report, double click on it from the navigation panel to reopen it. Change the view to Layout view from the Home tab. Click 4000 in the first record. Go to the Formatting tab and in the Control Formatting group, click Conditional Formatting. When the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager opens, click New Rule. Notice that check values in the current record or use an expression is selected by default when the New Formatting Rule dialog box opens. This is the setting we want. Under Edit the Rule Description, click the arrow for the box containing the word Between and choose Greater Than from the drop-down menu. Press the Tab key and enter 25,000 in the box. Under Preview, click the letter B to bold the font, then click the Font Color option to display the Font Color Gallery. Choose dark red, the first color in the bottom row of the standard colors. Click OK. Preview the new rule in the Conditional Formatting Rules Manager and click OK. To ensure that the formatting was applied, click on Print Preview from the status bar. Click to view an entire page and then scroll to page 5. In the record for customer ID 11045, you can see three values greater than 25,000 have been formatted with bold red font. Close the print preview and save the formatting of the report. Remember, not every section of the tutorial is included in this video. It is important that you read all sections of the tutorial from the textbook to ensure you fully understand how to complete all of the tasks for this tutorial.